This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com special 10-part series on reinstalling Windows XP. Now, in this first segment, I'm going to talk briefly about why you might want or need to reinstall your operating system. And the fact of the matter is, is that after a period of time, your computer will start to act sluggish. If you look under sluggish PC on Google, you'll see that there's all kinds of things about PCs getting sluggish. If you look under repairing XP, you'll see that there's still more things about what could possibly be wrong and how can we repair it. And if you look under slow PC, still more ideas and programs to help you speed it up. But sometimes it has nothing to do with whether you've maintained the computer correctly what it is is that your copy of Windows over time has simply become corrupted from power outages, power failures, improperly turning off your computer without shutting down Windows correctly, and a host of other things. It's caused different little segments of Windows to become corrupt so that it doesn't quite function the way it did when it was new. So, the thing to do in that case is to start from scratch and simply reinstall the operating system in what's called a clean install. So in this 10-part series I'm going to show you step by step how to go through and reinstall Windows XP and be able to maintain all of your data so that when you end up you're gonna have a machine that's running faster and smoother and with fewer errors than you currently do because it'll be a fresh install. So I'm excited about this 10-part series. I hope you will be too. And that concludes part one.